And it, oh, oh. Welcome back to Bella Boo's Lunches. If you're new, welcome. I'm so glad you're all here because I think I've talked about this recipe only about a million times. <laughs> so this is the egg bake recipe where I take all of the scraps from Bella's sandwiches, like from her lunches when I'm making them. I keep the crusts that I've cut off her sandwich and I throw them into a Ziploc bag and I'll put them in my freezer or in my fridge and then pull them out to make egg bake. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start making this egg bake so you'll also have the recipe to make for your family. I first start by browning one pound of ground sausage. I don't buy the flavored kind. I try to find mild flavored sausage so that it's not too spicy or it doesn't have too much of a kick when it goes into our egg bake. Especially in the morning, we don't always want something that is hot or like spice level hot. Now while your sausage is browning, you can start getting your dish prepared. So I'm using a Pampered Chef round stone, but you could use a nine by 13 pan. That is what I used to use growing up. Uh, it's gonna work just the same as this pan, but I like to cook my stuff in my toaster oven. And so I'm using this round stone baker, but like I said, use whatever pan that you got you can make it work. Even if you're using an eight by eight pan, this recipe will fit in there as well. It'll just be thicker slices. So rip up your bread. If you are not using scraps like I am, use about three slices. I'm using scraps, so I used about five slices. Next, I'm dicing up an onion. Now, if you're not a fan of onions, it's okay. You can leave it out. You don't have to add ingredients that you're not a fan of. Make this to your taste buds. Always make every recipe to how you like it. So we typically would be also adding peppers, but I don't have them right now, and we're not running to the grocery store on a whim like I used to. So we do not have any peppers to add to the recipe, but you could also add things like mushrooms or broccoli or even shred in some carrots. This is a great dish to hide vegetables in. If you are grating them in, a lot of times all your kid will see is the color and not necessarily know that it's a healthy thing. Just tell them it's sprinkles or confetti. Next, I crack six eggs in a bowl and whisk them together. I also typically, at this point, will add a half of a cup of milk. I forgot, and I don't remember until the very end. But at this point, you should be adding a half of a cup of milk to your egg mixture when you're whipping them together. Now for the seasonings, I just add a little bit of garlic powder, about one teaspoon, as well as some salt, again, about a teaspoon or to taste, and pepper. I would go lighter on the pepper, so I would say maybe like an eighth or a quarter of a teaspoon of the pepper, unless you like more, then again, like I have already said, do it to taste, however you prefer it. Omit it if it's too spicy for you, or add more if you really like it. Sometimes I add extra pepper to my serving because I like a lot of pepper and Bella really doesn't. All right, so this is a alteration that I made to this recipe years ago. I think I started making it maybe in fourth grade and I always added the cheese to the top. Well, I always peeled that cheese off because I didn't like that cheese crust that formed on it until I realized, and I swear it was probably like within the last 10 years, just put the cheese in the middle. And then you don't have to worry about the crust forming on the top. So that's what I do. I put my cheese in the middle like you just saw. And I will use between a half of a cup and a full cup, however much grated cheese that I have. That's what I use. So today I used about three quarters of a cup. And then I add my ground sausage to the top of that. Now, for the ground sausage, also, I was not having it this morning. I don't know, y'all. Like, remote learning, all this that's happening, it just you got to sometimes just take a couple breaths. But I couldn't strain it. I couldn't get myself to get a strainer out and strain 
the grease off of the sausage. So I just tilted my pan, moved my meat up to the top, and scooped my meat right out of my pan onto my dish. Anybody else do this? Anybody else just have moments where you're like, I'm not dealing with paper towels today? I'm not, because de- paper towels are hard to come by. We're out. And I think we have like three rolls of toilet paper left because I didn't go in panic and buy a ton when everybody else was. So Now I'm just waiting for the grocery stores to get more toilet paper. Anyway, we're not even talking about that. This is the egg bag. And then we're going to add the egg mixture that you have already added your milk to. Once your mixture is poured on, I just will go through with my spoon and kind of press all the ingredients down. Just, I'm thinking that it's helping the bread soak up the egg mixture. I don't know. This step could probably be skipped. But I did remember that I forgot the milk. Also, we're on a milk. So I had some heavy whipping cream and I just poured on about a fourth of a cup. Now, if you're using normal milk, I would suggest, you know, a half of a cup. But since this was such of a thick milk, I didn't want to do a full half cup. So we did the heavy cream. Oh my gosh, this (laughs) egg bag was actually really good. So if you're out of milk and have the heavy cream, do it, but it's not good for you. Okay, so I just gave it a good mix around and then I threw it into my oven. Now I'm using my toaster oven, but it works the same as a normal oven. It just doesn't heat up such of a large space. So I baked ours at 350 for about 20 minutes and that's what I would bake it in my normal oven for at 350 for 20 minutes as well. So give this a try. Let me know if you liked it or what changes you made to it. I've skipped the sausage and added ham. I've added bacon before. You can totally customize the meat and veggies in this easily. So give this a try. It's a simple breakfast that you can make for your family this week. Uh, Save some money and it feeds a lot. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe and we will see you in our next video. Bye.